my favorite season is here. It's time for hot chocolates, cozy blankets, all of the leaves falling. And this time of year means that I can start my yearly rewatch of Gilmore Girls, which to me is just like the most cozy show. Like I just love it. It's such a comfort to me. And that really got me thinking, what books can I read that give me that same cozy warm feeling that Gilmore Girls gives me? Well, I have done some research and here are five cozy fall books that I am going to be reading this year and that I thought some of you might like to enjoy as well. So number one is The Pumpkin Spice Cafe by Laurie Gilmore. And honestly, just look at the cover of this book and you'll automatically understand why I've chosen it for this list. This book is quite literally described as a cozy romantic mystery for Gilmore Girls fans. I mean, like, could it be more perfect? So I believe there are three books in this series so far with a fourth one coming out in 2025. And this first book in the series follows Jeannie, whose aunt gives her the Pumpkin Spice Cafe, which is in a little town called Dream Harbor. So Jeannie must now figure out how to run this cafe and also how to deal with the grumpy farmer Logan. So it has small town and grumpy sunshine tropes to it, which is always a good read. And doesn't that just make you think of look? It's no big deal. And I can already feel myself just like cozying up and reading this book. The second book that I'm definitely going to be picking up is Rewitched by Lucy Jean Wood. So this one is again like the way that it's described by critics. It uses the words Gilmore Girls in the reviews and this one again like people do compare it to Gilmore Girls in terms of just the feel of it more than anything. Obviously not the story but the feel. It's described as a cozy autumnal fantasy and it follows Bella Donna Blackthorn who is a bookshop owner and she has to rediscover her witchcraft craft powers or risk losing them forever. Book number three is You Again by Kate Goldbeck. So this apparently has a When Harry Met Sally kind of a feel to it and it's about two New Yorkers who after having like a very confrontational first meet cross paths again and then they form like an unlikely friendship or maybe more than a friendship. Who knows? Book number four sounds so so interesting to me. It is called The Dollar Gut Dream Department Store. <laughs> That is a mouthful by Mayu Lee. And this sounds like such a cozy and a magical story. It's basically about this department store and the main character Penny gets a job in this department store. But it is actually a very mysterious store that sells dreams. And each level in the department store specializes in a different kind of dream. It sounds very magical and cozy and just like something you would want to read on like a Sunday afternoon. And then book number five is called The Very Secret Society of Irregular Witches. And this is by Sangu Mandana. And this one actually caught my eye because it was recommended to me on Goodread. <laughs> Speaking of witches, myself a black cat here, I might be a witch. <laughs> And basically this story follows a witch who starts posting videos about witchcraft and thinks that no one will take it serious. She actually ends up getting messaged and asked to come and teach a young group of witches, but she ends up finding so, so much more. So this one kind of feels like more of a sort of Halloween-y type read for me, but I still feel like it'll have just like a cozy, magical kind of vibe to it. So let me know in the comments if you have actually read any of these and if you would recommend them. You can also go ahead and follow me on TikTok where we have a book club. And spoiler alert, the Pumpkin Spice Cafe is one of our potential options for our November book. So if you want to see if it gets chosen, you can head over and join our book club over there. I will have all of these books linked in the description box below if you want to pick any of them up and I will see you all in the next one.